Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So today, um, back on the homebrew review, this is the first uh, go of my Evil Dog um, Triple IPA. I was hoping to get it up to quad, never did. So it's come out at just over 10%. It's been sat upstairs like literally about five days. Nicely secondary fermented solid as well. Now... Nah. Oh, oh, look at that coming up. Wow. See that? And uh, just shows you how bottle conditioning and that. So literally the maths were for this about 70 pence a pint. Um, and look at that. I mean, I've got to be honest. Brewed it myself. Uh, not much of a head. I, I didn't want it to get too crazy, to be fair. But look at that. I mean, looks bang on, that does. Um, evil Dog kit. Two bags of sugar. Uh, brewed it short, 20 litres instead of 23. Um... Lots of carbonation going off there. Lovely orange pour. Does look good, that does. Yeah. Ooh. And, uh, I mean, I've had Evil Dog many times, but... Uh, not much of a nose on it. It's like, more, more like a modern traditional nose, to be fair. It's like a creamy tropical nose. Oh. Definitely getting the ABV. Um, I mean, you can see there in the bottle how much it's uh, holding the, you know, the, the froth there. Um, I'll pour a bit more in in a minute, you know, just because I can. Um, I think it's one of these where it needs a bit longer. Um, don't get me wrong, it's tasting good. But, um, you know, it's a bit close to that secondary fermentation, like five days. So, you know, sometimes um, the thing is not to be too eager with ears. Let them, give them a month, give them a few weeks, you know, especially with homebrew. Um, you know, the secondary fermenting and all of that. Obviously, breweries don't. Or do they? No, do you do? Yeah, of course you do. You add sugar for secondary fermentation. I don't know what breweries do. Um, whether they add some in, in to the beer when it goes into the uh, cask. Yeah, not sure on that side of things. Uh, but I'm not a brewer, so not a commercial brewer at least. I know that as a home brewer, I have to put something to do that. Oh, so what a day. Um, I, uh, bloody wet and cold. When it got to the stage where I've got my big thick winter jacket on with me, with me, um, waterproof jacket or shower proof over the top with a hat on, woolly hat, um, you know, 
Um, yeah, with the old woolly hat on. And uh, cracking day there. Did a load of burning. Um, sowed a shed load of seeds. I'm trying my best to sow uh, as much seed as I can. And, you know, to create as much colour in the gardens this year. Um, Oh. It's definitely took a touch of tropical on that. I mean it looks the dog's dew drop. Nice, you know, quite thick. Um, it actually did make 10%. Um, like I say, the more it ages, that's, that's going to be the interesting thing with it, you know, to see how, how it develops. That's if it even gets that long. Might be one of them I drink myself. And uh, so there we go. I mean, obviously, it doesn't compare, I don't think they compare to grain brewing. Of easy, easy brewing, you know. Um, obviously, watching how much sugar you put in uh, is is key. Don't go crazy on the sugar. I should have just used probably one bag. Um, but an orangey pour. Um, and to be honest, that's the best looking version of Evil Dog that I brewed. I brewed it four times. And it's never looked as good as that, to be fair. Um, like I say, it needs a bit more time. Yeah, I can just, uh, and I couldn't taste it the other day when I um, tasted it straight after fermentation. But I can just taste a little bit of sugar. So the secondary fermentation, even though the bottle was solid, it's not quite got rid of the last dregs of, of the sugar. But it is only four days, four or five days since I did it. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit longer. So, all about timing, you know. Um, we go on holiday in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks on Friday. Wow, God, that's gone round quick. Bloody middle of March coming around. I mean, end of February already. Fucking hell. Years flying by. Oh, it's still cold though. <laughs> I'm wet. Um, and personally, I'm so looking forward to the summer months. Spring months. You know, the warmer conditions. You know, going to work and not being in full work. You know, and just enjoying colour. Spring colour. I mean, we are getting the first dregs of it with um, snowdrops, crocus, daffodils, uh, and then they'll give way to bluebells. And we've got loads of bluebells at both workplaces. Um, and then that gives way to forget me nots, wallflowers, polyanthus, primulas, all them. I've got all those at my workplace. So, I will be posting those on the gardening channel, um, Adventures in Gardening UK. I was going to put it as Raggy's Gardening Channel, but I'll go with the Adventures in Gardening. Uh, I don't post that much on there, to be fair. It's, I'm still all about the beer. Uh, it's a hobby, isn't it? You know, it's my hobby. It's what I do. Mm. 
new adventures coming up on the channel for me. Uh, new micro pubs, tap rooms and breweries to visit. And to spread the raggy um, name in different areas of the UK. And uh, every time we're done, going around the country visiting breweries, uh, there's a good chance uh, that a lot more will know me. And it's nice, it's nice to promote good pubs, uh, beer pubs, not lager pubs. Um, they get enough money coming in. And I didn't even know there was a, there's a micro pub in Skegness. Uh, and they've actually... Uh, somehow they clicked on to the fact that uh, um, that I'm on. My head's freezing. Um, that I'm coming. I mean, I did say I'm going to Skeggy. I'm going to Skeggy for the day. And uh, we'll definitely have to pop in for a pint. Uh, I'm driving, so it will be one pint only. And, uh, you know, do some videos outside the pub. And I like using the channel to inform people of different pubs and breweries out there um certainly doing beer reviews i've got three versions now of beer reviews short quick short quick quickish and then standard beer reviews this is the standard beer review well this isn't actually a beer review but oh, it is a beer review yeah you know twat um but yeah Sometime soon I'll get back into doing lives as well, or at least one live a, a month or something, you know. Um, I kind of, the, the first few lives, when I did lives for the advent calendars, were quite good. And then it died a death, royally died a death. And, uh, I mean, 50 fucking lives. Uh, and I just gave up, and uh, yeah, I think it was the times where, multiple times where literally nobody was talking, there was no interaction, and uh, yeah, it, uh, other people probably have got more time to do sh stuff than me, um, I mean, to be honest, at the moment, the life is busy, and uh, it's been busy for a long while, and uh, taking on gardens, you know, looking after other gardens, I mean, I love gardening, and I like a project, and uh, yeah. Especially when it's somebody who's elderly and they're struggling to do their garden. And I come in and do my little bit of magic. And, uh, you know, at the end of it, they get a, uh, hopefully a nice garden out of it. And uh, that is, for me, um, what I like doing. So yeah, that's ten percent. <laughs> Our bad boy, aren't I? Um, one liter. Ah, <gasps> naughty. There'll be somebody out there counting them units. When you just drank. X amount of units, and I'll be like, yeah, I know. Um, but we look at the beer. It just looks, it looks good. I've got to be honest. Um, that's probably the best looking. I mean, stouts all look black anyway. But that is the second best looking beer I've made after the Citra Pale. 
the, in the, it, I have to, I've got to be honest, the Citra Pale didn't look that great in the beer room when I took a photo. I took it outside, took a photo, it looked bloody amazing. And I reckon that in the daytime outside would look stunning. Can't wait for it to get a few weeks down the line. I, I've got plenty of bottles. They're all going to come to the shed at some stage and sit in the shed. Um, and I need to sort the shed out anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with the brew. Um, like I say, it needs, it needs more time. Unless that's the bloody, unless that's the bottle that got too much sugar. Yeah, because I put the sugar in the barrel. So, unless that's one of the ones near the end where there's a little bit too much sugar in there, uh, I can st I can taste sugar. And I, I, even I can't stand sugar in beer. Um, but it looks good. It tastes good, but I, I can taste the sugary elements. So, hopefully, in two weeks, it'll have burnt out what it needs to burn out. And um, I'll unleash it on the happy drinkers. And uh, I dare say that somebody's going to get rather steaming because uh, it's really funny because that's 10% and it's like pop to me, uh, which is, you know, a bit worrying in some ways, but, uh, but it is. And if you're used to drinking something, um, you get you don't really get drunk on it if you're not used to drinking something and you drink it you'll get walloped um, Bailey's is another example Malibu for me is another example uh, Di Serrano these are things that are between 17 and 21 percent I can drink it in a pint glass on its own and just drink it never never bothers me never can't get drunk on it can't N just does not do anything and then sometimes i love i'll have a i'll have a beer that's four percent drink that new beer to me the hops and the malts something different and it's like fuck me that's what at me and i'm and i'm and i'm feeling drunk after the first pint and it like beggars belief why it does that. Um, and I've said this in the past, you, you, we've all got our own brains and our bodies deal with beer and whatever. When we've drank loads of it, our bodies deal with it. So like Bailey's, like Malibu, like De Serrano, I'll drink it. And literally, because my body's dealt with it so many times before, no effect. And it is balmy, you know. Um, and I'm sure everybody out there has got something they can drink. Never, never, ever does anything. I've drank ciders, you know, the 4%, like the record leg, Copperberg ciders at 4%. Drank them, literally no effect from alcohol, absolutely zero effect. I've drank normal lagers like Foster's and that, and like, you know, after, after the same amount, five, five or six, and it's like, whew, I can feel that, and it's just balmy. Bar me how that happens. Whoa. So, you've just seen me drink one litre of 10% uh, triple IPA, Evil Dog. Um, a little bit tropical. Um, nose was a bit muted, got to be honest. Um, there was a clear taste of, a slight taste of sugar going off 
I could taste it. Good amount of booze there. Um, again, literally zero effect. <coughs> Although I can, I can feel it a little bit, but there's not much effect from drinking that. Um, looked amazing. Possibly one of the best home brews that I've ever made. Just from the looks wise, you know, uh, not counting stouts, imperial stouts, because I've done some banging imperial stouts. Um, needs a couple of weeks to burn off that remaining sugar. Uh, I'm going to leave it upstairs in 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 the uh, in my um, wardrobe, as it were, uh, just to burn off that sugar Don't, not bring it down the shed but uh, yeah keep it burning because uh, i may have got the one bottle that's got a bit too much sugar in um but yeah it, it is there and it wasn't there last week so it's only the fact that i secondary fermented it and uh, i might have just got the one bottle that got that's got a bit too much sugar in but a couple of weeks should do it probably it will probably up the abv by then but uh yeah, tasting good. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. And uh, would I drink it again? I'm going to drink loads of it. So, yeah, definitely. Out of five. Mm. Uh, because of the sugar, 4.1 out of five. If I didn't taste sugar, it would be 4.6. Yeah. <laughs> but, boy. Wow, that's nice. Cheers.